OK, so this is the home grid of FocoChat. It's the same between the child version or the teen and adult version, and it's split into two halves. So on the left hand side, um, we have what we call our message pathways. And these are the supported language um, options that guide you through the vocabulary to help you build up your message really efficiently. And um, we're going to start by looking at each of the pathways one by one, and then we'll look at the other half of the um, home grid in a moment. So the first message pathway that we've got is something is wrong, and that's deliberately positioned at the top left of the screen to help um, users who may uh, be accessing this via scanning to get to it really quickly. Um, and once you select something is wrong, you'll see that it writes into the chat writing area. It will speak the message as well if you have that set up. And then it takes you to a grid with lots of different things that might be wrong to help you continue building your message. So for example, there might be something wrong with your device. There might be, it might be that you're not feeling well or that you need help. Um, and each of these selections uh, will add to your message. So if we say something is wrong with my body, that again will jump you to a grid with more information that you could add to your message. So you could say something itches, and it's your foot. Each of the selections that we've made there has added to the message, but we've also tried to design VocoChat so that if you were to stop at any of those earlier points, if you just said something is wrong, for example, your communication partner would know what you're trying to say and might start running through um, things that might be going wrong at that point. If you were to say something's wrong with my body and then you weren't able to make further selections, again, it's directing your communication partner um, as to what you mean. And another thing you'll notice is that although sometimes um, the selections when they're joined up into a message make a lovely sentence like something is wrong with my body, as you go on it might not always be absolutely grammatically correct. And when we were creating VocoChat, our focus was much more on functional communication, on um, getting your message across than it was on uh, creating perfectly grammatically correct sentences. So if we jump home, um, we can do just one more example in the something is wrong uh, category. So we can say something is wrong and we might say, I feel, um, I feel ill, for example. Um, so again, using the same um, starting point of the message pathway, we can convey that something is wrong and it, it might be a different message that we are talking about. Uh, the next message pathway in this column is, can I tell you something? So thinking about a different reason that you might want to communicate, you might want to share information with someone uh, around you. And there's lots of different things that you might want to share here. You might want to share your news, you might want to share a joke or a story. And because VocoChat doesn't use um, grammatical features like verb tense to mark when something is happening, we do have a column um, of uh, language that helps you say if it's a, something that's happening now, something that's going to happen or something that's already happened. It also really simplifies it for the user. So they're not having to worry about um, past tense. Is it go? Is it went? Is it going? Um, they can just use these here if they're able to indicate the time that something's happening. Absolutely. Um, we can also say something about me um, and that will take you to a grid with some of the biological information um, about someone that you'd expect to find uh, in a vocabulary. Um, if we jump back one, we can also talk about things that, that I like and things that I don't like. And these are examples of um, template grids that we have set up throughout VocoChat. So um, the things that would be personal about the user that you would add in the specific things that this person likes. Um, but we've tried to make it really easy to do that. So each of the cells is already set up with a write command. It's very easy to jump into edit mode, to type in the thing you want and choose a symbol. You don't have to worry about adding commands or adding extra grids. We've set that all up for you. And you'll find lots of blank grids like this throughout VocoChat. And then the final uh, message pathway in this column is, can I ask you something? Um, and as you'd expect, it's got some standard question words at the top, who, what, where, but then also some um, regular questions that you might want to ask. Can I do it? Can I have it? Where are we going? Uh, if we go to the more section, you see you can also ask questions about the person you're talking to, and that will take you to a grid of questions similar to the about me. It's the, 
the other side of that so you can ask people what their name is uh, what do they like to watch on tv um etc